Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about appearance and the amount of times I've changed it to boost my confidence up when I was little. But I had my first operation when I was eight years old. It lasted eight, over eight hours, which changed my face completely. They moved the front part of my head forward to to make the spot the eyes smaller. But after the operation, even my even my friends were upset because um, the amount of the amount I changed uh, really didn't make a difference. But then after that, things you know things were going smoothly, things were going nice until things went wrong. Like I had a screw pit in my nose, and the screw was actually coming out of the top. It was coming out of the skin, so I had to remove that screw, which made my nose go flat. So I've had that kind of stuff happen throughout the years. Um, last year, um, two years ago, in fact, I had my nose surgery to make it look like it is now. Although it's, it should be going smaller, but it's this you know it stayed the same size. So. And I'm kind of disappointed about that, so I don't know, I may get more surgery in the future about my nose, but I'm not sure. I had plenty of skin grafts done um, last year because of the effect I told you about in my cheekbone implant. I had to take my cheekbone implant out, so now I only have one cheekbone implant, that's on the left side, the right side I don't have any. But maybe in time I could put my cheekbone implant in without having to worry about more infections. I'd be getting another skin graft put in under my eye to make my eye face straight again. I've only done it several times, but it keeps going down due to the infections. But now I've got no infections, it should be able to go up and stay up without a problem. If you have a twin brother that's got nothing wrong with him, and it's just, um, he makes you jealous, he makes you want to be, makes you want to look like him, it makes you want to cope life the same as him. Because looks do give you the confidence, looks do get you places easier. But it's, it's a challenge to go through life, you know, not looking like everyone else. I've learned to cope with the bullies, because I've been bullied so many times in my life, I've learned to cope with them, then call in, um, now have the power to ignore it. I mean, you know it's hard to ignore, but, you know, eventually you would get there. Um, that's why I've had all these operations done, to stop it. But some people with cruising syndrome looks better, some people don't. It depends on the luck, really. Um, I will be changing my appearance more in the future, maybe. I'll be having more surgery done on my right eye and my cheekbone, like I said. Um, that would give me more confidence, it would build it up a lot more. But I was born with a condition, so I'm going to have to live with it. I can't really change, I can't really make myself look like everyone else, not yet in a way. But I'm going to try hard, I'm going to keep going at the surgery, I'm going to keep fighting. But I know deep down inside, it's not about the looks, it's about inside, it's about the heart. But you know, it's, the, it's a cruel world down there, so I'm not really surprised you people that get surgery to make yourself look different. But all I'm going to say is, if you're getting bullied, Try and ignore it. You have the power inside of you to ignore it. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will never hurt you. And the names did hurt me when I was little, but I learned to I learned to cope with it. I've had too many name calls, so I've learned to deal with it, and you know I've got through it. And so can you. You have the power to get through anything. You know you can. Of course, you can always get through it when you've got support with your family and friends. So you're not alone. And you never will be alone. Another thing about appearance is I work out a lot, I go to the gym a lot, which, you know, it gives me more confidence. If I've got a nice body, it gives me more confidence. Um, even though it does hurt, it does make me feel dizzy um, and everything like that, I still do it because I want something to be proud of. I want something that will give me more confidence, something that I'm impressed with. That's why I do it. I never give up, I keep going and going because I want something good about myself and I want to be proud of it. And I'm proud of myself in a way, I'm proud of my talents. I'm proud of, you know, I am who I am, and if you don't like it, you know what you can do. That's all you've got to think, guys. That's all you've got to think is, you know, you are who you are. If no one likes that, then they're not worth it. They're really not worth it. But that's it, guys. That's all I'm going to talk to you about, appearance. So uh, please subscribe, guys, and I'll be making more videos. Um, and as always, have a nice day.